Hi everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, I thought I would try out some new products. So these are some products that have been out for a while, but I just thought I would give them a go, like they're new to me. Now, some of them, I will be honest, I have used once or twice, but I haven't really given it much thought. So I was thinking, saying, I was thinking, why not, why not try out some products and just see how they work, basically. So I've got quite a few products, and I've got some that I could probably choose from. Like I've got, let's, I'll just go through them. So I've got a cleansing balm from Enspa, which is from like Asda. This was ten pounds. I've got Ren. I've got some creams from Ren as well. This is just a face cream. But then I've got like a serum from Bay Minerals, which I've tried once and liked. So I'm not sure which I'll be going for. We'll just see how it goes. So I've, I have just had a shower and my face is feeling really dry. So I do need to get some products on my skin. So let's just begin. Let me just quickly tie my hair up. Okay, so I'm going to begin with cleansing. And I've seen this from the Asda. This was about £10. I've seen it a while ago and I was like, oh, I should get it. So it is Enspa and it's a cleansing balm. So I thought, oh, I think I'll really like this. It says directions for daily cleansing, warm some cleansing balm between the fingertips, massage onto the skin and circular motions. Focus on key areas including face and neck, decolletage and around the eyes. As warm water to turn oil into a cleansing milk to, re to, remo to remove rinse well with warm water. To exfoliate, once you've applied the cleansing balm, use the expert facial cleanse and brush take care around the eye i hate that the way like brands say now if you want to have amazing more skin try this from the brands or try this from the brands and sometimes i just rather use the one product but anyway so this is what it looks like i'm not a huge fan of the smell Anyway, okay, so I'm going to put it on and I've got some warm water here. So I'm just going to take a bit of this and as I was saying, I've got some warm water here with a face cloth as well. So let's just begin. And I've got a mirror here too. So as I say, I think I've used it once, but I was in a bit of a rush and I was trying it so it didn't really. Can you see how straight away I go red? All the time. I've got eyelashes on too, so I'm just gonna go around my eyes. It 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 does smell nice, but it's just not. That's just not like a, one of my favourite scents. I can't even describe what the smell is, but it's just not a favourite of mine. So I am just gonna work it into the skin. I learned this little technique off Sarah Chapman. So what you do? Two fingers and zigzag along your forehead. So this is my new tip, what I do when I'm cleansing now. So we'll just take it to the next level. What took me two minutes and it takes me ten. <laughs> now that was a little bit dramatic, but yeah, I just like to do that. And also you really want to give it a good massage around here because here you do have fine facial hair. So you do want to make sure you are getting under the hairs. It feels nice actually, it, it does. It feels nice and soft. It's not like irritable or anything like that. I'm just not a huge fan of the smell, that's about it though. But I mean, it's applying nice. I'm not going to be double cleansing today because it's. I've just got up to chat with. I only really double cleanse of an evening, really. So I've got. I'm just going to put this into some. Water. So now that we've got the flannel nice and more, I'm just going to press and pat. Instantly my skin feels so much more better. I am a dehydrated skin type, so when I do get out the shower, obviously because I knew I was going to film this video, I didn't put anything on my skin, whereas normally I'll run the shower, put like um, a cleansing balm on, like pro collagen, or Moringa balm, anything like that, I'll put that on, let it work into the skin, and I'll jump in the shower while it's working into the skin, because it does act like a little mini mask, so it's just going to be more nourishing as well to the skin. So that's what like my little routine is. I'll get up, put the cleanser on, get in the shower, let the steam activate everything, and then take it off. So today it was a little bit strange, because I didn't put nothing on my face, and 
the bathroom gets quite seamed up too so my skin really does feel it it gets like really tight so it feels so much more better now and as i say i'm just gonna go round my eyes just because laura's done my lashes ow this ear <laughs> Oh my god, literally, like, if someone would have told me it's the aftercare, like, it didn't hurt getting done, and it's, like, literally, it'll be two weeks on Monday, I got it done New Year's Eve, and it, it, it's easing off, but, oh my god, I was, just before I was filming this, I was brushing my hair, and it caught, and you know that feeling when, like, your stomach turns? Yeah, that's what it's like, so don't ask why I got it, but I do think once it's all, I'll quickly show you the... I do think once it's all healed and I've it once I've got like my own little bar in it because I've seen a gorgeous bar I like it'll be nice and I want to get like here done too and maybe there I've gone all punk on myself <laughs> but now it's just a little bit so tender <laughs> anyway and I just like to fan my face too I need to buy me little <clears throat> I need to buy a little fan again I used to have like a little fan God knows where I've put it. Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to go in with a toner. So I'm going to go in with Ren's Ready Steady Glow. So i seen this all over the internet and I thought maybe this is like another glow toner. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't love it. I don't know why. I haven't noticed a huge difference, but I'm still going to give it a go and I still want to give it like a full review eventually as well. It is, I think, is it a Lactoch or a Glycolic? Um, Lactoch. Will it bark to encourage cell renewal? Lactic acid to gently exfoliate, azelaic acid to re to pre kiss. I don't know. Pre kiss your to brighten skin. I've never even heard that word. Anyway, um, it says it's a skin resurface and toner. It'll exfoliate, brighten the complexion, while it's gentle enough to to use daily. Okay. So yeah, it looks like this. I'm not a huge lover of the smell though. And I've just bought, so I went back into Primark the other day, bought a few bits and I've just got some of these. These are great. These are the um, cotton pads, but they're the, the, the larger size too. How much are they? 90 pence. What I do like, I will be honest, what I do really like about the Ren cleanser, a toner even, it's the push down applicator. So it, it reminds me a bit like of, of like a nail varnish or like an acetone where they have like them in like the nail salons and you do this. So I, that's one thing I do actually really like. But I think Glow Tonic's just my die hard toner. So yeah, I'm just going to put a bit on the pad. The smell is, it's a bit like orangey, but not. It's a bit like a musky smell. I just, I can't put my finger on it, but anyway. So I just like to take this all over my face. I'll be, com I'll be honest, it's tingling a little bit, it's never tingled before, so, and I like when you get a tingle, but it's never really, it's not a major or anything, it's just like a slight tingle. How, how did I ever not use an acidic toner, like, and it's all thanks to Caroline Hardens. I literally used to just tone my face. I'd cleanse and tone, but I wouldn't use an acidic toner. I've only been using an acidic toner for two years, and I think, what did I do before I used an acidic toner? And funny enough, that was the one product of any skincare product I could say where I thought, wow, like this is next level, was Glotonic with the glycolic acid. I'd never used the glycolic acid before, so when I used it, my skin was like, whoa. <laughs> And it just was gorgeous. So I just don't know how I didn't use a acidic toner. I know a lot of people can't because you might be sensitive or whatever. But this does say it can be used daily. It is like really gentle. And it is. So that's that. Can you find my face? I might just brush my eyelashes through. So you just feel so much nicer when you've got eyelashes on. Like I never really used to keep up with them. I used to just pick them off I did but I sort of loved them and especially because like, I didn't really wear makeup during the week I just like them with like no makeup or I might put like a gradual tan on my face but I just think they just really enhance like your eyes and I get a lot of compliments so I do really like wearing them and I think I am going to keep up with them 
I've ordered her stuff for me, so I'm, I've told her I want to stick to them. Anyway, um, now for next hydrator, I have nearly got a new hydrator, and to be perfectly honest, I don't want one after using it. Oh! As I was saying, I don't want to have to use Sarah Chapman's skin. It's just like, it's just next level for me. You might have seen in the video how like, obsessed I was. But yeah, so I'm just going to use this today because it is sort of new, but I love it. So it looks like this. And then I'm just going to put it all over my skin just to hydrate it down your neck too. Oh, it feels so nice. Need more. <laughs> I literally am obsessed with this. I always get a little rash in your thing. A little bit of redness. I'm going for that like super minimalistic clean look as I say. I just like to look skin done, nice and glowing, lashes on, brows done. And wash my hair, my hair is absolutely grease bound, but I'm gonna do my colour after after I filmed a few videos, I'm gonna do my colour. I went to get it today actually, so I'm gonna do that later on. But for now it's pony bath. Uh, what can we go in with next? So I've done so these are my options really, let me see. So we've got Dragon Blood in the Beauty Advent calendar. This is a sculpting gel, let's see, volumized skin volumized skin appearance. I I think this is more of a night time. Oh no, apply neck twice at apply to cleanse face and neck twice daily. So we could either use this and it's a double XL plump and formula so volumized skin's appearance with collagen here and volufine. Okay. There's some big claims, but anyway, so I've got this and then I've also got the bare minerals skin longevity, which is an empower replenish, replenish, renew and fortify. It looks like this and I got it in the advent calendar and I tried it, might have been Friday for work and I was just like, whoa, I love it. So I'm on wait, I was like, I sat at my desk and wear like this, pressing and patting it into my skin and someone, someone was like, what are you using? I was like, oh, I've just got to try it out and just need to test it and I really did like it. So I don't know whether to try it again, I've only tried it once. So I'm going to try that again, try this, or oh, try Renz, which I got for Christmas. This is the Global Protection Day Cream. Now, I don't think I want to use this. It's out of these two. Maybe, uh, maybe we could layer. Let's just do it. Let's just layer it. If it goes to pot, it goes to pot. Let's let's see what happens. So, I want to think. I want to put this on first, then that. Oh no, let's do eyes first. <laughs> Get your shit together, Steph. So, I'm going to go in with eyes. So, I'm going to use Bioderma's Sensibio Eye. Looks like this. They sent me it a while ago and I've not really used it. So, it's sort of new. So, I'm just going to take a little bit and just put it under my eye. Oh, yeah, so I think I'm going to go in with Rosial's, which is the gel. Let's just hope it goes to plan. I've ne actually never even tried this. I've never even opened it. I don't even know what the texture is, the consistency. It is a gel, but I've literally never used it. This I have. I did really like this, but I'm gonna. I am gonna try it. I'm gonna wait. I have to probably wait though to let it also in and then go in with this just to see what happens. So let's go. Like literally brand new. I've just got my nails done too, and I can't even open it. I get when I get my nails done I get overlay with shellac so it's sort of an acrylic nail but like you can't it's my own like nail length like you wouldn't if you see my nails you wouldn't think I had acrylics on it's not really acrylic it's overlay but you can't get little things like this open pen oh okay so let's put it on the back of my hands I've put quite a bit on there actually <clears throat> so it looks like that do you smell? Very slight, not a major. Any any instructions? Do you know what? Let me just 
get it up on the internet on like Vozio's website and see what the claims say and if it says how to apply it. You know, I'm sexting me, you're asking me what what pixie glow tonic is. <laughs> Right, okay. So this is only a, obviously a sample size of it. Eighty-five pounds. Wow. Okay, so the <laughs> eighty-five pounds for the large size, which looks like this. Sorry, let me just show you. <laughs> Bless me, mum. Like, as I'm looking for this, she's texting me and she's like, "Which one do you like?" <laughs> so it's all pixie stuff. She's literally she must be in boots, and she literally said. <laughs> <laughs> which what she's asking me which ones I want. Like, there's glow tonic. I might like, the mini one because I'm going away. We need um, to call more next week. And then she's like sending me this. <laughs> and then this. That's rose tonic. I don't want that. But yeah. <laughs> oh, bless her. Okay, so back to this. A voluntary anti-aging gel that volumizes and defines facial contours by pumping sagging skin through stimulating the production of collagen to help skin appear firmer and more lifted. Containing our unique dragon's blood complexion, sap from croton lychee tree. My mum's still texting me. <laughs> this forms a unique second skin-like film around the face which effectively protects protects, reduces redness and firms for a smoother, plumper, more youthful look and complexion. The best selling product of our Dragon's Blood range, this is ideal for those with stressed or sensitive skin who want to achieve firmer, lifted facial contours. So this does sound lovely. I don't think, I don't think you're going to see a big difference straight away. I think you're all going to have to use it a while, but we'll, we'll just see. Tips. Gently massage one to two pumps on the face daily morning and evening can be used alone or under a moisturiser okay so we probably could use Rens under it but I think I want to go with let's just decide later on and oh sculpt and gel also works as a perfect base for makeup let's just try it and just see how it goes basically feels lovely oh <gasps> feels gorgeous wow Honestly, it does feel lovely on the skin. Let's have a little look. I like that. I really do. It's just like nice and... It is a gel, so but it's like silk. It's a bit like a primer. It is. When they say like you can use as a makeup base, it is. It's a bit like... Not silicone-y, but it, it has got the gel. Like... It's like smooth. It's like it is definitely smooth, and it's sort of like a little bit blaring, but not if that makes sense. But no, I really do like that. I can't say it's plumped up my skin or anything. I think that is just gonna. That's something over time. I don't think it is. You are gonna notice it straight away. I really do like that. It's just I've just decided to like it. Okay, let's go in with. Actually, my lips are feeling a little bit dry. I picked this up from Alex Steiner's range in Primark. This is her Sleep Spa Overnight Lip Mask. I've tried it once. Um, I like it. The only thing I don't love, it's it's quite tinted. I'll show you. It is. It's like a lip gloss. So it's very tinted. I just prefer, I'll show you it on the back of my hands. I personally prefer like a clear balm. Like that is really red. But when you put it on your lips, it doesn't look as bad. So I'll just quickly show you. Like it doesn't look as bad on the lips, but I just I just took really like a coloured lip balm, but it's like nourishing and for like four pounds but saying that though you can get Carmex for two pound which I love Carmex and I think it's just so ideal to have you can get it in this start style you can get it in the tub whatever's easy really so that's normally my go-to or like Eucerin the intensive lip balm but yeah so well I do like it it's not my favorite 
but it, it's still nourishing at the same time so we'll go with it okay so i've got two more products left and it's these two i don't know which one to go for i do like this i did I, that's what i wanted to show you all because i tried it as i say one day last week for work and i did really like it this i've never even opened let's just have a little look and see what like the consistency is i've even opened that one it is a uh, day cream jelly massage on to clean neck and face until absorbed so it looks like that oh it smells lovely it smells, it smells like elemis products that's oh, nice And half of me wants to just layer all the products up. Obviously, I'll have to give them a little in between. But half of me wants to just layer up and see what happens. I mean, it is like a sort of test it out video. So, I don't know whether to layer up. Either way. <clears throat> Either way, if I was going to layer up, I would go in with this next. So, let's just go in with this. See how it sits on the skin. And then see what this is like. I'm, I don't think they might, they might work. But we'll, we'll just see what happens. So this, as I say, the Skin Longevity from Bare Minerals, and I really did like this last week. I'll put it on this side so you can see, like, the consistency. It's really, oh, it's, like, literally so watery, but I like it, though. Oh, I love it. I really do. I've never tried nothing from Bare Minerals. But I like it. it smells great, too. And you can see that it, it does leave a slight glow to the skin. Like, I just love that. I mean, I love clear, glowing skin. That's me. That's what I'm all about. Do you know what? I think I might leave it at that. Because I really... I just like it. I just like that minimalistic, effortless, no makeup look. But your, your skin's still, like, luminous, plumped, hydrated, especially in winter. So I think I'm going to leave it with that. You can always apply a little bit more, but you can see, like, I really do love that product. And you can see, let's just, let's just try and put a little bit more on, see how it goes on the skin. Zoom you in. Let's just take my hair out quickly. Okay, so this is the finished look and I love it. I just love that look, like the effortless look, what I've said 25 times, but I do like that. So yeah, I'm really shook at this. I'm really surprised. I do like that. As I say, I didn't notice a huge difference straight away. I do think it's something that you are going to have to use quite a few goes to see any results because it's not something that is going to happen overnight. But I will keep trying this. This I really do love. I don't even know how much it is. Let's just quickly find out how much it is. £48 it is for 50ml. This is only a little sample size. This is only 7.5ml. So yeah. Oh. That. But yeah. So I am off to do this colour. Hasn't been done since before Christmas. Because I nearly got over Christmas. And it was still a bit fresh. So I'm off to do my colour. And I hope you've enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.